here's my koi pond and I want to show you how I overcame a challenge built this thing it's this my backyard built this when we moved in about mm, 20 years ago and the this is the back of the garage and when they built the garage they just pushed the soil up to the very back of the yard so I turned a lemon into lemonade and uh, built a waterfall. So it was nice to have elevation, to have stream beds and stuff. I wanted to point out uh, back 20 something years ago, um, I didn't have the filter structure that you see there. That's a big filter. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. And so we just had these um, waterfall boxes, if you will, um, that, you, that had some, uh, uh, bacteria media in it and that's kind of how we dealt with the fish waste. Problem is we had to constantly be doing fish uh, cleanouts. That's why I wanted to make this video before we fill this in with rocks to make it pretty. So what happened was um, they, between the box and the liner there was actually uh, roots from these trees, fruit trees, grew between the liner and the box and it, it forced the liner away from the box and it actually uh, created a situation where I got a water bill and it was like three times higher than normal and uh, because the water was draining out of the pond system. So what, it, we, what I went ahead and did was um, drilled some holes at the bottom of the box, put sand in it and completely covered over the box so there's, there's no more, um, we're not using those for filtration anymore. And uh, so how are we dealing with filtration then if there's no bacteria? Well, there is bacteria. So I'm gonna walk you by the back of the area here. We installed this ProfiClear premium compact biological filter system. So there's t way, way more bacteria in here, in this uh, system here that actually takes care of all the uh, fish waste. And so what we have here is, there it is, there's the wheel that's on the inside. So the water comes in, it gets on this wheel, and once it's um, filled up with too much fish poop, it actually pushes it out and it goes into piping it into my uh, uh, compost system over there. The earthworms absolutely love it. So it flushes out there. And then, and then um, on the left uh, uh, side of this, uh, all the white stuff there, those white balls, that actually has uh, tons and tons and tons of um, filter media in it. So, so it actually uh, is a holding place for bacteria, which munch on the uh, nutrients, the excess nutrients. So we no longer need that old style system and it's just great to have. And I forgot to mention that the ProfiClear filter, that big black box back there, actually self flushes. You don't need to do anything. Don't have to get your hands dirty, no buttons to push. It actually just flushes itself up. It's the world's first, as far as I know of, uh, pond filter that actually uh, flushes itself up automatically um, with the sensors in it. And then uh, that's it. So if you're into koi ponds and want to keep really clean water, this is the way to do it. And my fish seem to be happy. Filter seems to be working. It's crystal clear down there. Thanks for joining me. Mike with Enviroscape LA, professional pond installer. This is how we do things, make life easy. Thanks for watching. Take care.